My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire Downfall. We're going to go in as the slime boss. Time for Ascension 3. I'm going to quickly make sure that you can see the game instead of the... Instead of the Java code running in the background there. All right. Slay those intruders. Don't mind if I do. Choose a rare card to obtain your best... <gasps> wow. Split into a Darkling Slime three times from the very first floor. Darkling Slimes attack for three each turn. When commanded, all other Darkling Slimes also attack. So obviously I would want to try and go for this and then try and get a bunch of things that trigger command. Tag team would be specifically good, but uh, I think I think we go for this and then look for command because you know, it's harder to get Darkling Slimes than it is to get command. All right. Oh my god, there's a path on the left here that's so good. Rest, elite, rest, question mark, rest, elite, item, rest, elite, rest, normal combat, normal combat, and then a shot. Like, oh god. I don't get many question marks on the first floor, and that is usually quite good to get as this character, because a lot of the question marks on the first floor actually just give you slimes. But, do we want those slimes? Actually, maybe we do. One, two, three. hang on, elite. Elite, elite. So that's a three elite path with a bunch of rest. One, there's a bunch of question marks here, and then there's an elite, another elite, another elite, and then a bunch of question marks at the end as well. This is a question mark heavy path. It just doesn't have as many rests. But the thing is, we don't have that many cards in the deck to upgrade at this point either. I'm going to upgrade Darkling Trio because I intend to cast it every fight. Oh. Hmm. Oh, lag of all and why. Uh, okay, let's split into a leeching and then we'll Dark Slime Trio just so that we get a re... Uh, reabsorb there. And my goal here is just play as defensive as is humanly possible. Try and let the Dark Slimes do a large amount of the damage here for us. Ow. As it turns out, as defensive as is humanly possible. Not, uh, not, not, not really defensive enough. Oh gosh. Oh, it happens at the start of our... I, I was dead even if I went for the full defend there. Because it happens at the start of our turn, the, the damage. I was thinking like, oh, these are like orbs. I'm just going to deal the damage at the end of the turn. It's going to be fine. Uh-uh. No, uh-uh. That's not how that one's going to work for you, friend. <sighs> now we have combats fleeing in terror. <laughs> I just wanted my dark slimes. Okay. Let's take this. Try and get the free elite. Upgrade the split to start out with. Upgrade three random cards and get a Curse of Regret. Three random cards. Nice. It's typically two, but I'll take the third. Kunai, every time you play three strength, uh, three attacks in a single turn, gain a dex. That is pretty handy. Consume to gain 10 block on the finishing tackle. Split Bruiser. We could split Bruiser and then try and just defend ourselves with Kunai and such. Okay. Hey! Jizu Bracelet. Normal enemy counters are no longer encountered in the question mark rooms. I'm going to leave. That is all I wanted. Everything I could have hoped for. Nibble, deal four damage and add a random zero cost card to your hand. So that could add another attack. If nothing else, it's a zero cost attack for the sake of the Kunai. An upgraded zero cost card. Okay. That could make some difference, especially because the zero cost cards often will be licks. And if they're upgraded, they'll actually draw a card. So a lot of the time that says upgrade to draw a card. Ornamental fan. Where do you play three attacks? And it's on gain four block. Okay, so we are definitely going to want to try and stack a bunch of, uh, a bunch of attacks so we get to play consistently. Spit at him. Let's 
go Bruise and Maya. The idea behind the Maya here is to try and get a couple more consume triggers to try and heal myself up a little bit before the end of the combat. Nibble. Split. Ooh, you can actually get split from this. This is a default card in the deck. I wouldn't have thought that. Uh, so split. My two oldest are Bruiser Slimes at the moment, which is kind of annoying, but we'll split into Bruiser and Gorilla for as much damage as we can deal, and then attack you because we get two strength from the split. Okay, and then just you know, strike, strike, defend. Honestly, 94, 94, 84 damage there. Pretty good. Pile on command all slimes. I, have, uh, <laughs> I wanted that. Uh, split specialist is really good though. I'm going to do that and I'm going to take pile on for commanding all slimes as well. Let's do it. There are so many question marks over here. There's a rest here, and Split Specialist wants to be upgraded pretty badly. So, you choose unique slimes to split into. They are slimes based off of bosses, and they have huge effects. Just giant impacts. Divide and Conquer. Deal 10 damage, deal 3 additional damage for each spawn slime. I mean, I'll make it. It's just whether or not I want to do it right now. We definitely split Bruiser. It's just, this divide is currently three damage for me, right? It's nothing. Just conquer tackle, I guess. Let's defend and then split for Mire and Leeching. Take a strike, pass the turn. And ideally, we kill this turn. Pile on, everyone hits again, and then... Oh god, really. Defend, because the strike is not enough. Uh, that's my bad. Let's just go for the strike there. Heal up a little bit. Oh, Momori, negate the next two curses you obtain. Happy to see it. Split leeching, as well as roll through and reign of goop. I think, I, uh, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I, I want to command the all slimes twice. I want to command the split specialist that I have a lot. And I'm going to avoid that shot for more guaranteed question marks over here with the Juzu bracelet. All right. Give us a little bit of a nibble. Hey, here we go. This is a proof of concept on my previous. We get to draw a card, whereas we previously would not have. Oh, we block for 10 if we go for the attack and then the defend there or the double defend instead. So we'll also split for Leeching and Maya. The idea behind this just being, again, guarantee that I get a consume trigger next turn. For the sake of the HP, we get back. Slime Brawl. Play the top card of your draw pile. Repeat for each of these spawned slimes. Exhaust. I My plan is to have like a full cavalcade of slimes at all times. I want slimes at all times and slimes for all seasons as well. Pylon got the upgrade. Thank you. I was very, very hopeful that was going to be the case. Sharpen fragment at the start of each of your turn. Add a crystal shiv to your hand. My god. We have a... We have a kunai and we have an ornamental fan. One shiv every single turn is great. We're not going to be able to do anything with the, the cultists that worship the awakened one. We've taken that before, but we'll take this one this time. Uh, great pickup right there. Hey, and we still get a shop. Okay. Split specialist into uh, attacks tax for four and applies one vulnerable each turn. Uh, tax for four and blocks for four. Tax for two and blocks for four. Uh, no, we'll go for insulting, I think, here. Okay. Uh, 
Well, we can't split Bruiser. Otherwise, we're going to lose the Insulting Slime. My uh, Leeching. Shiv. I'm, uh, my HP is very low, it turns out. It's weird. That happens suddenly. No one warns me. No one told me it was going to be this way. If we get off to a good start against the boss at the end of this floor, we can still be fine. It's just... Ow. Dissolve. Draw a card, exhaust a card in your hand, add a number... Okay, that's fine. Oh! Okay, I'll... Lick, shiv, lick, brawl. And strike again. That's a lot of damage on the, the merchant in the first two floors. You love to see it. Minion Master. Now, that is good for exclusively right now, the Split Specialist, because it doesn't add an additional time to the amount of times you command. Instead, it's if you command once, command a second time. So this Command All Slimes Twice doesn't get affected by it. Split Bruiser, even when upgraded, doesn't get affected by it. Uh, Last Stand actually seems like it might be necessary for us. Remove all debuffs, gain one strength if you're below half HP. Gain two strengths. Wait, hang on. Ah, uh, there we go. It's the upgrade that also heals you for 20. That's that's the one that I specifically want there, though. Um, Maybe I just cut the... Yeah, I just cut the regret. We've got a Omomori in the deck already, so we're not going to be going for, like, a curse stack kind of situation to try and take a benefit of the curse event next floor. Divine Conquer. Not relevant here. I'll pass. <sighs> Spit. Shiv. A little bit of HP back out of that. Growth punch. Press the attack. Consume command. I'm going to take that. Hmm. One, two... Three, and then I will go for this for the kunai trigger. Take a little bit of damage to do so, though. Hmm. I think I know this turn is split into mire and leeching again. Take the strike against the front line. Split into... Apply weak each turn? No, the enemy does deal uh, does damage with their orbs right now, don't they? No, 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 they don't. They don't. Uh, this enemy does... This enemy does uh, streamline stuff as well later, don't they? Because if they do, that's obviously got to be a... Got to be a time slime for us. Let's take the time slime. That also commands, and then I'm going to play the slime brawl. Getting a fair few commands out there, so we've got a bunch of weakness. Ball lightning? I mean, at least helps us against ball lightning. Two. Three. Four. Don't want to really throw a tackle here. I think I do, actually. Yeah. I think we're just racing to the end of this combat right now. There's the rip and tear. It is weakened. We'll press the attack. Getting that command off. Uh, attack with that. Uh, pile on. Get a bunch more commands off. Not necessarily for damage. And in fact, maybe I should have done that earlier. Got him. Whew. So... Uzbath gives us the ability to definitely get a command off every single turn. Has a huge appeal for that reason. However, 
if we dupe attacks, suddenly it's a lot easier to get the kunai and the ornamental fan off. We don't... It It's so hard for me to take this because of the fact that so many things say command two times, command two times, command three times on the upgrade. Doesn't say command at all. This does say command, and it upgrades not to command a second time. So it, it would impact this and the survival specialist, which I get to play once per battle. It's just... I, I find too often I end up with other sources that command multiple times. So Minion Master becomes really, really difficult to use. However, duplicated form. We're going to want some expensive cards in the deck because Slime Brawl is going to give us the ability to play a lot of them. Or maybe the uh, the Sneko Sky... Uh, Sneko I will, rather. Tar Blob is real unfortunate for us. Gain energy at the start of your turn. However, splitting costs two more HP and max HP. Now, a thing that I need clarified about this that uh, that was a reason that I wasn't utilizing it or, or wasn't utilizing splitting in my first episode with the slime boss is that I don't know if after you end the split and reabsorb, if you get back the same amount of HP. Right, let's hang on. Can we can we see like an absorb text? I can't see absorb text. I need to look at absorb text the next time it comes up because maybe I've been I thought absorb gave me the HP back of the uh, that I lost. So I thought how splitting works was you would lose 4 HP and 4 max HP as you split. And then when you absorbed that minion, you would get back the 4 max HP and the 4 HP. So the reason that I have difficulty taking the Tarblob is because I think you're going to lose 6 max HP and 6 current HP. And then when you pull them back, you get back 4 HP and 4 max HP, right? Pile on becomes a lot more playable here as well. I'm going to take the Sneko Skull. Sneko Eye. Sneko Eye. Sneko Eye. It's the Eye. It's the Eye. It's not the Skull. It is the Eye, Ryan. Okay, cool. I've locked that in. All it took was repeating that to myself. Break the Emerald for a Dex. I mean... Probably not going to a shop super soon, right? Let's do it. Then I also want the duplicated form upgraded just so that I get the extra energy every turn. Makes the Sneko Eye a lot lot more stable. Okay. 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 Uh, let's split for the bruiser first. Okay. Not really what I wanted. But we can tackle down that target at the absolute least. Tackle and the crystal shivs on the other. Okay, so we'll defend first. Tackle you. Then shiv and strike to get this kill. Get a point of dex and pass. Oh, really? Duplicated form is still going to be full cast? Still what we have to play, though. Uh, and then... Top card on my deck could be the Slime Specialist. Or it could be Strike. Let's play this. Oh, okay, it actually lets us choose still. Attacks for three and causes you to draw a card each turn, or applies... Attacks for four and applies one weak each turn. That would only be to the target that it hits. Do I want to go for the Protector Slime literally just to keep my HP up? Uh, drawing an extra card every turn is, like, really good, though. Extremely hard to turn that down. Okay. Oh, my God. I... I'm just gonna dupe that attack there. Throw these against you, and then just keep pushing damage against the backliner. Thank you, Sneko Skull. I, I, what is... I, I had a good run with the Sneko Skull recently, and I think I'm just giving it all of the credit in the world. As a result of it. All right, I'm going to split here for Mire and Leeching, and then pile on. And in fact, we'll pile on two times, because the duplicated form... Throw out the extra damage, and then we'll kill next turn.
Get him. You simply love to see it. All right, we just want another pylon, and then we want expensive command cards in this deck, basically. We have command cards. I, I accidentally built the deck that can use these. Do I still take them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want him, but I'm going to take him. Upgrade all strikes and defense. That is one, two, four cards that we get upgraded here, whereas we could remove one. I think we actually will remove one and take a strike out. Because I already intend to remove some of the others as well, so it makes it a lot easier of a choice for us. Uh, don't like this. Let's see what the attack potion has for us. There's pile on. That's really good. Okay, we're gonna dupe form. Then we're gonna darkling trio, which doesn't target the enemies. However, we will pile on, which does target the enemies, which is gonna get duped. Really? That's what. That's the big impact that we got out of that. Command all slimes twice when you command all Darklings will attack regardless of position. And I had one, two, three attacks. One, two, three. So, what? Oh, command all slimes. Okay, but we did double play this. When you command all Darklings will attack regardless of position. So, command all slimes here does not say to each Darkling Slime. I think I found this out before and I forgot it. But I don't think it says to each Darkling Slime, command. And then that Darkling Slime says, all of us go. And then this one says, all of us go. And then this one says, all of us go. Because otherwise, I would have attacked 18 times there instead of 6. I think I might actually lose as a result. Yeah, I, I don't have the ability to kill the slave from the back line. Incoming damage is 34. It's more HP than I have. I'm going to weaken the frontliner here instead of the backliner. Try and do everything to try and keep myself alive. I weaken the frontliner because the backliner is going to die next turn, so. Yep. Frontline is going to be around for longer. Let's go for the defense slime brawl. Slime brawl plays. Yeah, slime brawl plays the pile on. Slime tap, absorb, and draw three cards. I mean, do I really need to do that? Absorb. Manually recombine with your slime. Returning the max HP it took upon splitting and gaining one strength. So it actually doesn't return the current HP. I thought it did. I was wrong. Wait, it does return the current HP. I just healed by four. Huh? Um. Yeah, I'm going to go for a kill there. Pocket Sentry. Nice. The start of each turn alternates between deal seven damage to a random enemy and one weak to all enemies. Seven protect is extra dex and block. But it's a zero cost card. We don't want to draw it at anything other than zero cost. Because then it becomes real hard for us to play. Remove all strikes. Obtain three upgraded tackles. I have two strikes in the deck. That would be adding an extra card into the deck. Consult playbook would only really be good on the turn that I, I play it. Because then afterwards it gets redrawn and they're all shuffled. So I'm actually just going to leave this one here. There's the dupe form. And the Darkling Trio. I don't think I will be using the Darkling Trio in this fight, to be entirely honest with you. Um, it's probably going to be a dupe form and then double nibble the enemy. Dissolve. I probably end up dissolving the Dark Slime trio. And then I want to Crystal Shiv after that. And then I also want to press the attack after that. Which means that I just want to double split first. So we'll split for Maya Leeching. 
Am I leeching again? So we're going to die if we do that, don't we? All right, let's dissolve the Darkling Trio first. Lick. Shiv. The lead is the leeching slime here, so the press the attack is going to be good. Lick. Command. Double lick and a wait doom, I guess? Ow. Thankfully, the enemy was made weak this turn. Desperately necessary. Uh, doubling up that pile on seems like a really good idea. We can also throw out a strike, a shiv, and then eh, do I really want a slime brawl? Yeah. Uh, let's get the one that's going to constantly weaken the enemy. I think that's going to be relevant. What with the pocket slime, uh, the pocket sentry not weakening this turn. Yeah, it's attacking instead. Uh, let's... Uh, let's just throw the pile on for the win. Strike dummy, cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Mega lick. Apply one weak and four goop to all enemies draw a card. I mean, I can't really think of a reason not to take it. White Beast Statue. Potions always appear in combat rewards. That would be a good way to try and start healing back up, but I am very worried about the possibility of taking this and then only seeing a good relic next floor. Um, I also really want the max HP soon. I'm going to take that. Break that Sapphire. Honestly, like a lot of these upgrades just change the cost. I'm going to go for the Recall. I'm also going to be ducking away from the extra elite. Ooh, we meet again, Ranwid. Boss, a cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You know this man well. It's me, Ranwid. You wouldn't believe what I swindled from the Cursed Heroes. You got any more junk I can give him? You appreciate his friendliness and, his, and consider his options. Surely you have something Ranwid can use in his next deal. Uh, I'm okay losing the bronze scales for a rare card. Okay, so it's a random rare card. Exemplary! With just a little bit of work, I can make this look like something trolly special. Randwood departs, examining the relic carefully. No doubt pondering how he'll exaggerate its usefulness to the next adventurer he meets. I mean, look. Uzbath is good for us, it's just at zero cost. See, so... There's that. I'm just gotta hope it's playable, you know? Okay, here we'll go Split Specialist into... I mean, Cultist Slime would be really good right now. It's twice the amount of damage. Oh, am I really going to be trying to defend myself this turn? I used to defend naturally. What are we going to do? It's a pylon in my hand is the thing, so I, I do want to use that. Fine. Uh, bronze Slime so that I can pile on with... the bronze slime in order to get all my defense up. There's that duplicato form. <sighs> Do we actually play that this turn, though? We may not want to. We go nibble. Ooh, Uzbar. Tackle at the very end for a little bit of defense. I may not distilled. I may not distilled that. All right, we'll split into all of these, and then I'll Slime Brawl. Just the most efficient way to do things this turn. And this is not going to be the kill by itself. However, ah, <laughs> Pocket Sentry prevented me from being able to consume to get more HP back there. Shape of Puddle, oh my god, it's exactly the kind of card you want in the stack. It just gives intangible if you didn't see it. Loose pocket sentry, hire the bandits. Huh, okay. At the start of the third boss combat, red mask bandits will assist you. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm into it, I'm down. 
Uh, as for these, though, like, they just change their cost, which doesn't impact me. Ooze Bath changes the amount of goop it gives, which also doesn't really impact me. Um, yeah, these, these upgrades really don't matter. I'm actually going to take a defend upgrade over everything else, though. I do not have the ability to attack three times this turn unless I use the Distilled Chaos. In fact, I probably could. I could, but do I need to? That's that's the actual question, right? And I don't need to. Hmm. Okay. I like duplicated form and then shape a puddle here, possibly, but let's let's think of some other options. What, double nibble a target right now? Oh, that does put the bird down on the ground, which actually saves us more HP than the uh, the shape of bottle. Repurpose. In one potency, seven block and heal six HP. That's a great repurpose right there as well. Let's crystal shiv. Then we'll repurpose, getting that solid zorbo. It's a funny way I say absorb. We could go for Ancient Slime. I mean, Torchhead does eight damage a pop. Yeah, do your eight damage a pop. I like that. I like that. And then we'll goop the target that is going to stay alive the longest. So I can try and get more HP from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Hokalugi and kill him. Hard pass. Don't really want any of those. Uh, we could do serious business to you, but you could also do it back is the big problem right now. We may want to play the top three cards of our deck so we have something to possibly command with the pylon. Slime brawl. But at least we got something here. I might go for the time slime just because of the next turn. Hmm. Do I ooze bath and then pile on here? Do I need to pile on? I'm gonna nibble. Mega lick. Duplicated form. Okay, I like that. And then I'm gonna. Double ooze bath, yeah. My goal here is now just heal. Shape of puddle's good for me, but for you, I recommend the strike. I mean, now that you've been weakened as much as I need. Let's get a Bruiser Slime out here, and then another Bruiser Slime, and then a Maya Slime. Just keep launching damage while we can. So we have now two turns to deal 112. Not impossible. Honestly, not even that unlikely. So press the attack. Consumes, then gives you the... It, it consumes, it commands the Maya Slime, which then gives you more goop so then it commands uh, it consumes again so it can command the maya slime again it's a good combo right there yeah darkling trio next turn would have been less damage i think we are quite likely to get the kill here if we don't i'm gonna reach for it with the attack potion it might pile on pile on just doubles up yeah And there is the kill. Back to full HP. Ooh, shuriken. Whenever you play a card this turn, command is also really powerful. The evil within. Gain 12 damage, gain 12 block at random colors. Boss card to your hand, it costs zero until played. That's that's actually really good for us as well. Let's take the shuriken, not be able to take evil within because of it. Be really sad about that, but then just cut a card from the deck. Like a tackle, probably, at this point. God, 
Oh, the evil thunder would have been so good. Start a combat, choose a card, remove it from your draw pile, start a combat at the end, uh, start a turn three, add it to your hand, it costs zero. I think that there is no card that I want to get that late right now. Alright, yeah, we'll cut a tackle. Hmm. Split Specialist looking for the largest defense that we can get. That is going to be the Bronze Slime. Then we can use Pile On. I'm going to nibble and see if we get... Ooh, Vulnerability. No Weaken, though. Vulnerability would have been really nice. Press the attack. No. Let's Slime Brawl quickly here. Getting... Oh, strike. Huh? Strike and the defend? Huh? Slime Brawl? Huh? Play the top. Oh, repeat. Okay, so it does do plus one to the, the amount that you would maybe expect otherwise. And... Okay, the command there was pretty much exactly what we needed to help block. Right. Certainly start out with a Mega Lick there. into a bruiser for as much time as that can do. And then I'm going to Darkling Trio, getting some strength here. 11 damage. Okay, we're pretty close there at the very end. I like sl Split Specialist. I just don't know if I want another one of them. Hey, we have the same deck. Oh, you love to see it. All right. Uh, let's... Do we want to dupe and then double ooze bath the enemy? I actually like that a lot. No shape of puddle this turn, unfortunately. My leeching strike, strike. I am going to go for the attack potion here as well, actually. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I got the point of dex in the four block that turn. Especially with the enemy ramping up their damage, it feels like that's going to be important. Pile on. We can double up that already. That's a lot of block for us. But we want to play the split specialist first. Insulting slime, ghost flame. Three burn each turn. We're about to start doubling that. I, I think we get enough block already because all the leeching slimes get double commanded here too, so... Yeah, you've got 15 burn coming up in a couple turns time. Can't wait for that investment to mature. Throw out a corrosive spit. No, wait, it'd be crystal. Then megalic for the draw. And then another strike, right? Yeah. Constantly healing up from the enemy consumes. I love it. Mm. Let's start out with a double pile on because that's just been working out so well for us so far. God, if we get the card that is two cost, command three times, upgrades to four times. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please, game. Give me this. I demand it to be. Uh, hard pass the rest of those, though. Dark Slimes are starting to feel like they don't really have a place in this deck. Okay. 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 Enemy intends to do a lot of damage this turn. I have the ability to just be like, nah, I'm fine, thanks. Do I want to be like, nah, I'm fine, thanks? Yeah. I'm fine, thanks, actually. Like, great turn. Would have loved to have had it myself. But I'm afraid I cannot let you have it.
Perfect. This is actually really good. Interestingly, despite being zero cost, uh, whenever you split, place this into your hand from wherever it is. So as long as we don't draw this in our opening hand and we do draw some sort of split in the opening hand, this goes into our opening hand. And then because it goes into our opening hand rather than being drawn, Confuse specifically says when you draw a card, randomize its cost, this would come into our hand at zero cost. And then when we play it, it goes to our discard pile at zero cost. And then when we split next time, it comes back into our hand at zero cost. The only thing is it's next to tag team, which I literally just said I will take if I see it. And then I saw it, so I'm going to take it. Uh, Runic Dome for a little bit of extra energy actually seems really, really appropriate right now. Makes it a lot easier to to combo off. More cards removed from the deck is actually also really good, though. What would it be? Let's entertain that thought for a moment. What would it be if I was removing cards from this deck? Would it be Split Bruiser and then the... the uh, oh, God. It actually might be Split Bruiser and the Darkling Trio. Tag Team's exactly the card that I would want with the Darkling Trio. However, uh-uh. Sorry, Darkling Trio. You've already disappointed me enough. You're not going to really get to play in this one. We saw you work out earlier. It's fine. This is a split specialist and duplicated form run and pile on. Pile on is not to be understated. Nibble is actually still useful, despite the fact that it might cost one, might even cost two, and I'll still use it. Especially if I'm duping it. Yeah, actually cutting two cards from the deck is looking better and better all the time. Look, cut the bruiser and Darkling Trio. Okay. Now, I've already killed the merchant. So, mercantile spaces for me are quite good. Okay. We'll start here. Break the ruby for a point of strength. Um, yeah, I think that's relevant. Tag team for an extra command. Definitely. Hasty immediate upgrade there for us because I knew it was going to be necessary and useful. There is a split in my hand and the ability to tag team. Tag team commands four times. I could use that to defend some. Not perfectly, some though. I mean, I think that's the best I can do though, so let's do it. We split into Maya and then Leeching. Three group at the start of the name. So, so I can't do anything. Um, eh. <laughs> we got as much defense as we could have that turn. Or at least as, as much as we could have whilst also setting up the rest of the fight. Get a ancient slime out there. Shape of puddle, is that really relevant right now? Well, is it gonna be relevant on any future turn? No, pass it. Saves us one HP here. Yes, love to murder. Yeah. Opening tackle, no thank you. If that was one cost or zero cost, like it's two tackles for the price of none, because the second one adds zero, uh, but it does mean that I have to cycle back another upgraded tackle card in the deck. It's another card in between me and my duplicated form and my split slime stuff. Uh, but most importantly, it deals damage to me and I really can't afford that right now. I still need much more max HP to feel comfy. Oh, never mind. Corrosive Spit. <laughs> I was really worried it was going to give us only bad choices there. Do we actually want to upgrade anything at the moment? In this deck? No. No, we don't. 
So we'll go to a question mark instead. Hmm. We don't really have much money for a merchant right now. We've got a merchant in two spaces time, especially if we want it anyway. Search the treasury for a relic. I mean, that's just a free relic. Explore an event, though. The events can be really interesting. I'm going to go for the event. Eh? Oh, there's the Darklings. Okay, so I say no to the Darklings is the choice above that, which is fight the Darklings. This is still showing me this screen rather than Darklings, though, so this is going to be an interesting combat. Uh, so basically, based on my memory of the Darklings, I'm going to have to finish this fight. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I like this challenge. Uh, let's go. I think this is because this is usually a fight room that triggers an event. However, this was just like trigger an event. And it took one that is supposed to be in a fight room and tried to load up dialogue for it. But it's like, uh-oh, no dialogue. This is a, this is a fight. I think that kind of mismatches what's happened here. Protect a slime. I may need to defend myself here. Right, because the front and the back liner are both attacking this turn. Uh, then I can split and slime brawl to play a bunch more cards. I actually really like that. We'll split into... Wrong order, Ryan. I'm going to mire and then leeching so that I can still split correctly, but uh-oh. Duplicated form... Pile on? Okay, never mind. We still get to play all the cards. And Shape of Bubble. Damn. It turns out to be a really good turn. I'm a tag team the frontliner. Okay, you're still alive. Throw extra damage at you. There we go. Because you weren't good in the deck. That's why I'm not going to let you play. You only get to exist in decks you're relevant in. Okay, the frontliner still exists. So does the backliner. Unknown. Okay, so you're you're down. You've got goop on you. You've got goop on you. Okay, let's go for that. So we get the mans. Okay, the backliner is also now gone. Attack the midliner. Hey, we got him. Nice. A hard pass all of those. Uh. Okay, I guess I see card. Cool. All right. That worked out. Whew. Pretty confident I could play this game if someone just roughly described the screen to me. So. <laughs> um, split tag team doesn't seem correct here. I think it is just straight up defend as much as I can. Defend, defend, crystal shiv, strike, tag team. Now, you might have thought, why not do that in the other order so that you have the ability to use the kunai decks on your uh, on your newly found blocks? And that's a good point. That's a, that's a really good point. I think I'm going to go split protect. I, I'm worried in this fight. Duplicated form and then nibble. Just trying to get... Uh, slime tap. Don't want to do that here. I'm going to throw out the defend. Then dissolve a mega lick. So I can lick. Hit. Lick. Press the attack. Lick. Strike. Lick. Slime brawl. Uh, sure, I'm going to slime tap now, actually. We'll split into Mire and then Leeching. Then tag team for eight commands. Getting a whole lot of Leeching off there. And then hopefully we kill this turn. It's a lot of burns in the deck at the moment, so I'm getting worried. Vajra, damn, we get a lot of strength. 
This time you take HP loss on each of your turns. An enemy takes that much instead. It's innate. The thing is, if I'm losing current and max HP at the same time, does that really help us? Slime Brawl is still like, play a lot of cards in the deck. <laughs> I mean, it's it's good text. I'm into it. Uh, I can dodge this in order to skip one elite and go for a lot more question marks later and I actually prefer that path a lot. Uh, still don't like this one though. Upgrade another defend. Let's try and be a touch safer. And nib. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. You love to see it. Don't need that. Even slightly. All right, giant head. If we're going to get a fight to really show off how much damage we can do, this is going to be it, isn't it? So. Take two damage this turn. Got a point of strength and a point of dex, though, and that matters a heck of a lot. Uh, probably going to leave the sh uh, shape of puddle in the deck here. Let's dupe form. Ooze bar. I should have done double nibble, not double ooze bar. I, I was like, ooze bar isn't going to be doubling here. And then I'll play the other one. <laughs> How wrong I was. How very wrong I was. I could go for an ancient slime here. It's a little bit extra draw. Let's make you weak for two turns and draw two cards. Pop out some attacks. This has not been a great fight for us so far. Entirely on me, mind. Um, a tag team draws a bunch of cards right now, but then I can't do anything with them. I'm going to split instead. Go... Actually, might go Mire and Bruiser here. Just get some extra damage out. Then tag team the Bruiser. Actually, I'm just going to Slime Brawl twice here. Defend, Defend, Strike, Pylon. And then we also play another defend. Wait, did that not double? I, I have difficulty tracking what's happening with the, the slime brawl and whether or not it is doubling or it's doubling the next cards. I don't know. I need to keep a closer eye on that. Shape puddle, obviously. Then pile on. Defend and pile on again. Which will again redraw the pile on. Random cost. Strike. Slime Brawl doesn't have anything to hit because there's no cards. I'm just finishing up the fight. Don't. Don't get snippy at me. Pylon! And draw the pylon at zero cost again. Two cost? Dang. Do it again, though. So this is... This is not an infinite. Let me be extremely clear. Not an infinite. Theoretically, though, it could be. It's not... But it's possible it's an infinite. It really depends. How lucky are we? We can all of you and draw a card here. Also going to primarily target the target that is about to start defending themselves, making it look easy to get them all down at the same time. <sighs> There's our dupe form. Holy yikes. Uh, this turn is actually really, really bad. We take a lot of damage. 
We don't really have a way to not take that damage right now, though. Mire and then leeching. Let's go defend. Heal up a little bit from there. Ow! 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 Alright, I'm gonna have to try and heal up a lot before the end of this fight. Time Slime, giving some weaken to all the enemies seems like a really, really handy way to uh, do that more commonly, at least. Slime Brawl, which looks like it's being double played there, but plays a defend. And then the first card that could have targeted an enemy is Pylon, which it did not play twice. However, we did play all of the rest of our deck and then played another Slime Brawl, which then played another Pylon. So we have here healed up a decent amount. It's basically the best we can do, though. Uh, hard pass. Okay, okay. Offer... Lose 150 souls in order to gain 10 max HP is actually really appealing here, but I am going to give them a rare card. I'm going to give them Ooze Bath, which is going to then possibly... Yep, plus 10 max HP, and I'm healed to full HP. So I get to save my money instead for here. Mastery Purpose, absorb all slimes. Gain one potency, four block, and four HP for each absorbed. We don't have enough slimes in the deck to really want to do that. Prepare is pretty good. Just just really good with the Sneko. But do I want to put it in the deck, though? Good with the Sneko? Go in the deck, though? Hmm. The more cards we cut from this deck, the more powerful it gets. Oh, the reason not to take Megalic is because I had a Sneko. Sorry. I, uh, did I draw this after I got the Sneko? If I did, whoops, my bad. If I didn't, then okay. I'd stand by it. But I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I got the Sneko at the end of the first floor. So yeah, I definitely drafted this afterwards. That is the reason not to take that. Uh, if you left a comment saying, Raps, the reason not to take the Mega Lick is because of the Sneko, I, you can feel free to edit that now. All uh, right. I I actually really like the pair here. Helps us turn a bad turn into a good turn. With a turn's delay, mind. Lose pylon plus obtain red mask. Requires red mask and the banded contract. How do you? How would you get both? Oh, Pylon is the whole point of the deck, though. I can't lose, because I think if I clicked that, and that might be still here after I click that, right? Do I lose if I do that? I think I lose if I do that. Pylon is so much of this deck, though. It is so huge. Duh! Okay. We got it. Uh, a note appears in the tomb and outside a small red mask with a note attached. Take from the others that I've taken from you. Don the red mask to upgrade the bandit contract. At the start of the third boss, red mask bandits will assist you. You don the mask. The bandits who agree to assist you have a connection with this lord. Perhaps they will be inspired by your new adornment. I really like that because there was previously the event uh, that gave you the red mask on the, uh, on the third floor. And then obviously the bandits also had the possibility of giving the red masks, so it seemed like there should be some connection in the law between them. And now we're being offered that connection. One Tesseract. Colorless boss cards. I'll take 10 damage to look at them at least. Collect looks pretty good. Ghost Inferno. Kinda does. That's a lot of damage. Defensive stance, Kakor, Guardian Quell. Guardian Quell gives us some AoE that I don't otherwise have, but how many, like, how much of the rest of the game do we need AoE for? 
literally just this combat. So no, I'm fine. Thanks. Let's have a look at the final one. There's another def uh, defensive stance there. I mean, two defensive stances actually does really appeal to me. It'd take me a while to play him, but... But that's eight block at the end of each turn. Hang on. Are we struggling to block? How about we start there, right? A little bit, actually. Especially later on. I actually like that Kakor as well. I also like the last stand here, literally just for removing all debuffs. We're taking too many, aren't we? Yeah. We can't take more, otherwise we're gonna run into the not a not allowed to play two boss cards on the same turn. We're gonna run into that more consistently and that would be a problem. Uh I mean that plus the defensive stance and then just Megalic Pass seems decent here. Well I'll strike one of the frontliners for a little bit of HP. So two extra energy and two extra cards this turn. As well as four block guaranteed at the end of it. Let's go duplicated form and then double nibble here. Haunting lick for vulnerability. Sure, that'll set you up for death. Uh, which we can follow through. Hell. Um. Yeah, so Last Stand does remove... Oh my god, Last Stand removed the confusion from the snack away. Uh-oh. Well, better to know that now rather than later. It doesn't prevent the extra draw. It's just that could be a problem if, like, we have a bad cost on all of our cards and then play that. Did forget about that possible impact there. We get some vulnerability on the enemy. Nice. There's pile on. We have literally one more opportunity to upgrade it. We got it back. All right, this is the third boss, right? Fulfill your contract, friends. They've done no such thing. I feel deeply betrayed. Okay, duplicated form, we'll pop a defend and a defensive stance. I can weaken the enemy basically forever if I want to pop out a time slime here. That's not actually relevant though, right? No, we'll go Ghost Flame. And then... Get Ghost Flamed! Play the one that doesn't dupe first. That one will pile on and then play a single crystal ship afterwards. Hold again. Nice try on that damage. This is probably an armor break turn, but we want to play something else first typically here. Okay, 
I'll play Split into a Mire and then Leeching. Then I'll double Nibble, getting two more cards to hand. Then I'll Armor Break you, because I don't want to double up the Armor Break on the cast. Whenever you Command, when you Split, return this to your hand. Okay, we don't really Split that much anymore, though. In fact, we can't Split anymore. Okay. There's Last Stand again. Do I have good costs on my cards? Save the Slime Brawl? We actually kind of do. I'm going to remove all my debuffs now. I'm going to defend Shape of Puddle because the enemy is going to be generating a bunch of this turn. I'm a Slime Brawl. Which played another Slime Brawl. We've played another slime roll. Love to tag team. Oh, so much damage. Oh, and we get to draw and play so many cards. I love it. Uh, then hit him with that. Hit him with that. And a crystal shift just to round it out. All right, there's my 81 block. If I dupe an attack here, the second one is going to be a big hit. So I should dupe something reasonable. Yeah, no, I'm going to dupe double remove your armor. Which gives me the ability now to one combo and then I one for the double damage. So it doesn't have to be the same spell cast twice. I'm honestly just going to exhaust that. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, it's taking up space in hand where I could draw other, more necessary things. Let's just go straight for the kill. Not muss around. Not play without food right there. Okay. At the start of the third boss combat. But we fought three boss. It's not this one, right? If it is, I'm I'm super keen to see it happen. But also it's not the third boss combat. Okay. I wonder if it counts as a debuff that you played a a boss card this turn. Like, no more drawing this turn as a debuff as well. Uh, the thing is, duplicated form, then split, then slime brawl is just so much better. We'll split into, again, leeching and then Maya. We'll pop the slime brawl. We've got the Maya in front there because of the press the attack that we have in hand. Oh! Oh, you love to see a turn like that. Let's go for the draw as well. Just in case. Nice. All right. Now, where, oh, where is Split Specialist? There you are. Very bottom of the deck. That's fine, though. Let's split you into Cultists. Attacks for six each turn that increases his damage by one. That sounds good. I'm gonna command you. Okay. Okay. And you're doing 15 damage a pop right now. Love to see it. Uh... Oh. Even command the frontliner again there. And then we're gonna slime brawl in order to try and do it all again. Oh. There's the tag team. God, tag team's good here. I'm actually just gonna burn out Shape of Puddle. I'm not gonna need that next turn. We're going straight for lethal. We have seven cards left in the active play deck, so I know that this turn I'm going to draw the tag team and then just play it. Back in preparation. The start of combat. Draw additional cards. Love to see that. Uh, Living Wall. Bit too late for you. Don't want any of the others there. All right, shot. What are you... Ah, uh, Evil Within. It came back to us. It's all we needed. We just had to believe. We have a lot of boss cards in the deck at the moment. Hmm. 
We can't even get an upgraded one. It may just be card remove another bad card from the deck. And at this point, bad card from the deck would probably be the unupgraded slime. Uh, unupgraded defense, sorry. I'm into it. Do that. Then finally, Smith, the most important card remaining in the deck. Pile on so that we can basically avoid the downside of having picked up the bandit contract here. Okay. Nope. Yeah, they weren't really keen to help me in any fight at all. Red Mask Bandits, why? Maybe it's the third boss combat after I start killing Meow? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Split Specialist does want to be in front of all of the others, so I want to go Duplicated Form and then the Split and then Split Specialist afterwards. I may want to double play the Duplicated Form. Definitely want the Ritual. Let's double play Dupe. Okay. Then Power Potion. Play another Dupe. This last stand is now suddenly very important for the ability to remove my debuffs that have all of my max HP locked up here. Yeah. So our first three cards that target enemies each turn are played twice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The enemy does that thing that burns a lot of my deck. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, let's, let's prepare. I'm going to shape a puddle right now because I am terrified. And I also don't want to lose much HP to my own split here if I can. Although I'm losing max HP and current HP, so it was going to happen anyway. Um, It's leeching and then mire in the front again. Double strike. Double strike. Another double strike. Okay, we're going to get a void status in the next hand. That's fine. We got a lot of extra energy every turn. Oh, please get me back to the... The, 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 the other card, please? Oh, God. All of these are now ethereal. Okay. I'm going to start out with the Bewildered here. And throw out a defend. We'll let Icky just burn itself out. Happily. Thank you, Haunted. Let's Slime Brawl. Nothing ends our turn in our deck. Oh, tag team. Nice. Okay, so are we an Ancient Slime drawing a bunch of extra cards each turn? I don't think that's actually relevant. We'll take the Vulnerability. Okay. Then... I Nibble. Do I want to reabsorb my backliner here? Not really. It provides this extra block. But I also don't want to redraw the reabsorb. Getting a potency does matter a little bit. Sure. Ah! Hang on! What? Uh... Absorb. Manually recombine with your leading slime. I could have sworn that was going to be the slime in the back line. Well... Lose that defense too. Strike that. Uh... We should still be fine, I think. Lost stand. Back on max HP. I can't even do anything to the enemy right now. Which means I lose my pylon because it's a... Um... This deck is running out of damage. At least you have a crystal shiv every turn. Alright. Double up on the press the attack. Double up on the Crystal Shiv. Double up on the other Crystal Shiv. Throw the strike. I mean, at this point, I, I'm just going to Slime Brawl for the defensive stance as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, at this point, we just play six attacks every turn and then two giant defends. Okay, and then you come back and double dump you, double dunk you again. And yeah, this, this is a perfect deck. I don't know what I was complaining about. We play just two giant strikes. I should have played press the attack. Oops, could have gotten two commands off there. Uh, then all of those, then we defend and defend at the end of the turn is fine. See, it's a perfect deck. The, uh, the kunai and the shuriken are so monumentally important right now. All right. There we go. Nice try, friends. Sadly, the second one there doesn't dupe. So we don't get a second point of dex and strength this turn. We just get the one. I know, completely robbed. How are we going to win without it? And he won 60. Oh, so much. I mean, like, that's all I really need to do. I'm actually just going to throw two of those armor breaks out there as well. Get rid of them. Get them out of here. Two more attacks against now. One with a double damage and double defend. Yeah, this is all we need. This is a perfect deck. Takes a little bit of setup to get here. 19 cards to get down to this perfect four card deck, but once you get here, ooh, it works. All right. And that is our Ascension 3 victory against Meow with the Slime Boss. Snekawai is real good. It's just real good. All this stuff would not have happened without your friend. Ooh, a little bit of unlocking as well. Love to see it, love to see it. What are we gonna get? We get Slime Tail. When you fall below 50% of your maximum HP, split into a Gorilla Slime, and the next time you take damage, your leading slime is absorbed instead. Works once per combat. Neat. It's also an Ooze Stone. Uh, start of combat, split into a Maya Slime and gain one potency. Nice, like to see some potency there. And sli uh, Slimy Skull, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I kind of know what that one's going to be. And it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Whenever you apply goop, apply one additional goop. Can't wait to get the final level of unlocks here. But for the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire Downfall. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the game past, present, and future, as well as the links that you need in order to download and play this giant mod expansion by yourself. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.